Hi, it's Andre from Conveyor of Randomness here, and today I'll be asking just how persuasive fake AirPods are. Fake or clone earphones are becoming more and more popular these days, and with smaller manufacturers able to take advantage of the demand of the consumer for popular products such as AirPods, Galaxy Buds and Beats, and they can offer these at such a low price and sell them on popular websites such as Wish and Amazon. The earphones I have here, these are called the Airs Pro. Now, obviously they're a complete rip-off of the AirPods Pro, but these cost about £15 plus a delivery fee on Wish, and you can get the real AirPods Pro on Apple for about £249. So you can see why sometimes it's attractive for people to purchase the cheaper one compared to the more expensive one. I bet you're asking yourself, what do I get for my money? Should I be spending so much on the real thing? What do, I, what do I get for my £15? Well, hopefully, by the end of this video, I'll have those answers for you. On the surface, and perhaps to the untrained eye, these look pretty genuine. If we look at the case, the real AirPods case charges wirelessly, as well as wired via the lightning port at the bottom of the case. The Airs Pro case lacks the same wireless charging, but it does do wired charging with the lightning port. The opening and closing of the case just doesn't scream premium product, but more of a cheap, fragile, mass-produced case that you'd often find in a Kinder Egg. According to the item description, these Airs Pro are the third in the line of wireless earphones, so I'm assuming that the first and second generation of these earphones looked a lot like the first and second generations of the Apple AirPods. One thing that these and the real AirPods have in common is that they're both available in white, but I have seen others that are available in other colours. On a single charge, you'll probably get about three to four hours of listening and talk time, and the case itself will charge the earphones a couple of times before it needs charging itself. If we continue to look at the item description, the Airs Pro states that it has active noise cancellation, transparency mode, adaptive equalization, a ventilation system for pressure balance, a customized high amplitude drive unit and a customized high amplitude range amplifier. Now these are all things that come as standard on the AirPods Pro, but let me be the first to say, these Airs Pro, they don't have any of those. Every changeable mode available with these doesn't affect the sound quality or the natural noise cancellation that you'd get with in-ear earphones. As I've mentioned in a previous video, it's always worth scrutinising the item description from websites such as Wish because you sometimes can get more or less than what you bargained for. By comparing the dimensions of these Airs Pro to the real Apple AirPods Pro, you can see that the case of the Airs Pro is slightly smaller and lighter, whereas the earphones themselves are also lighter, but they're just a little bit bigger. Unlike the real AirPods Pro, these earphones have buttons as opposed to a force sensor. The commands are pretty standard for earphones like these. Press once to play, twice to skip to the next track, three times to go to the previous track, and as always, the long press to go to Siri. With the connectivity on the AirPods Pro, you'll find that every time you flick open the case, you'll get a connection animation, which displays the AirPods and the charging case, as well as their current battery levels. Now, normally, this animation is only reserved for AirPods, but occasionally you'll find that a third-party clone is able to enable the animation and sort of mimic the settings and actions of real AirPods. With the Airs Pro, you'll find that once you lift the lid, you will occasionally get that animation to appear. As you can see, I've had a few attempts at opening and closing the case without anything appearing on the screen. Nonetheless, when you take the earphones out of the case, you'll hear an audible connected, which usually is very reliable and connects almost every time to your paired device and sometimes to another unregistered device. The Airs Pro provided an adequate sound quality. Music with different elements like multiple leads and backing vocals and bassy beats were often relegated to a muffled mess particularly noticeable if you listen to metal music, for example. It's only when you compare them to the AirPods that come as standard with iPhones do you realise that the Airs Pro are so much more inferior. Audio elements are easily distinguishable from one another and all vocals are clear. The sound output that you hear on calls is better, 
but you won't be surprised to hear that the quality of the built-in microphone also delivers a muffled output. The AirPods are clearly superior to the Airs Pro, don't get me wrong, but if I only had the Airs Pro, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain. It provides, an, as I said before, an adequate sound quality, but it's only when you compare them to other earphones like these that you can see just how big the gap of quality there is. You get what you pay for with these Airs Pro, and at that price, you won't be surprised to hear that. But the quality just isn't quite there. But if you want to use these for something even less than general use, then these are for you. But if you're someone who prefers high quality audio, crystal clear speech, and that sense of immersion that you get from wearing wireless in-ear earphones, then the Apple AirPods Pro is definitely for you. As long as you can afford it though, but it'll be a better choice over the Airs Pro. If you've purchased any fake or clone earphones, just let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel as well. And why not press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Did you like that last video? Why not watch another video like one of these two here? And even subscribe to the channel down there as well. See you later. Bye.